An extremely tense afternoon unfolding outside the Chula Vista Library. It happened after a suspected anti-LGBTQ hate group protested a program for drag queens who read to children. And our tenders reporter John Horn was there. You were there when police had to step into this thing too. They did twice actually, and that was just at the microphone. Police also kept a close watch after the speakers were done at the podium. The tempers flared over a program supporters say is meant to teach children tolerance, but the other side accused the drag queens of trying to influence sexuality at an age too young. How dare anybody? We want to protect children. We want to protect our culture. That's not hate, that's love. Arthur Shopper spent about an hour Thursday blasting a program for drag queens to read to children. Adult entertainers as Role models? Why not porn stars? Shopper heads the California chapter of Mass Resistance. The Southern Poverty Law Center has labeled it an anti-LGBT hate group. About 20 others joined him outside the library. We aren't repeating some of Shopper's statements because many viewers would find them offensive, as did counter protesters who came to fight back. Police stepped in shortly after this exchange. Now tell me, what is it, ma'am? You are a bigot because you want to shut me down just like you tried to do right now. You are a bigot. The Battle Thursday was over a program called Drag Queen Story Hour in which drag queens read to children at the library. Supporters say it helps teach tolerance and self-confidence. But they have not even stopped to talk to these, these, these performers, these people, these human beings who just happen to also be drag queens. Stephanie York, whose 16-year-old son is transgender, told Shopper her family was not his concern. Are you a family man? Yes, I am. Then why aren't you with your children protecting I'll them? I'll tell you why, because I had to give up them. having one family to protect others. Dennis Hodges, a pastor in Lemon Grove, came to oppose Drag Queen Hour, but said he regretted how tensions escalated. I don't scream and holler at people. I don't expect them to scream and holler at me. By 2 p.m., most of the demonstrators and police had cleared out. Shopper was asked about the Southern Poverty Law Center designation. He called the center a, quote, fundraising smear machine. As it stands, Drag Queen Reading Hour is set for September 10th at 4 p.m. at the Otay Ranch Library. John Horn, 10 News.